In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my box method for multiplying out brackets. The traditional foil method can only cope with two items in each bracket. My box method has no limit. You'll love this. It makes it so easy. Right, here, here's our example here that we're going to do first. What we need is a box. And the number of bits in the box is 2 by 2. And there's our box ready. The first one, well you can pick either, but I'm going to do the first one along the top. So we have 3x there and plus 2 there. And on the second box we've got 4x there and minus 3. Now when you're multiplying each part, always do it by sign, number, then letter, and it avoids mistakes. So in this case, they're both plus. So you're going to get two pluses multiplied together, it gives you a plus the same as plus. So 4, 3 is 12. x times x, you do the letter next, and it's x squared. On the next one, again, it's plus times plus is plus. 4 times 2 is 8. And the letter is x, and there's no letter there, so we've got an x. The next one down here, it's minus times plus, they're different, so you get a minus. 3 times 3 is 9. And the letter, there's no letter there, times x gives you x. In the last box here, we've got another minus times plus is minus. 3 times 2 is 6, and we've got no letters. Now all we need to do now is sort out the bits and add the bits that's in the box. So always advise, do the first, put in your first one and the last one at the end. And that means we've only this bit to deal with. Now there are different signs. So it's going to be the same sign as the biggest one, which is the, the nine. So it's going to be minus and subtract, so you get one. In other words, all we're doing is minus nine plus eight equals minus 1. So it's minus 1, I should have put the x's in there, and it's minus x, and that's the first one completed. It's that easy. The box method's far better than foil. Here we have our second example, so let's get right into it again. Draw the box. Same again, we need 2 by 2, put the first one, we've got a 2x, a minus 1, on the side we've got 4x minus 5, just be, take care with the signs, plus times plus is plus, so we've got 4 twos is 8, x times x is x squared, second bit, for this one here it's that way, that way, so we've got plus 4 and minus 1, Four, giving you minus, plus times minus, then four ones is four, and we have an x. This bit here, it's minus times plus is minus, five twos is ten, and that's x. On the next one, we've got minus times a minus this time, remember that gives you a plus, same sign gives you a plus, so we get plus, and it's five ones is five. So all we need to do is put them together. So again, what I said was the easiest way to get the things you know, x squared, the plus five at the end. Now we've got to sort out these. We're adding two minus numbers. So it's two debts, so we're getting an even bigger debt. So the answer's going to be 14x. So minus 10x, minus 4x, and that gives you a bigger debt, minus 14x. So we go minus 14x plus 5 and that's the brackets worked out. Now the next one we're going to do is a bigger one. The one we've got here is a big one. We've got three terms in there. This is where foil breaks down. But does the box method break down? Oh, no, it doesn't. 
All we need is a bigger box. So we want a bigger box. And this time we need three because I'm going to put the long one along the top. I'd always advise you to do that, it fits in better. But you could choose and do it down the way if you wanted. Right, first term, 3x squared. Second term, minus 4x. Last term, plus 5. Down the side we've got 2x, oops, and minus 3. Right, we're raring to go. Plus times plus is plus. 2 times 3 is 6. What says next one? Because it's x times x squared. So that's x times x squared. So we've got three of them. So it's x cubed. Get rid of that out there now. So we've got x cubed there. Next one, plus times minus. Different signs gives you a minus. 2 times 4 gives you 8. x times x gives you x squared. And the last box. Two pluses, plus times plus gives you plus. Two fives is ten. And we've only got one x. On to the next line. And we've got minus times plus is minus. Three times three is nine. And we've only got an x squared. Next one, minus times minus is plus. Three fours is twelve. And we've just got an x. And the last one is minus times plus is minus, and it's three fives is 15. Now we're going to have these terms to add and these terms to add, but I still put in that one first since we already know it. And the one at the end, the minus 15. Now we've got to work these out, but you'll notice they're both minuses so we're getting a bigger debt. So we've got minus 9x squared, minus 8x squared. We get minus 17x squared. I'm just going to write that down for you though here. Minus 9x squared, uh, minus 8x squared. And that gives us minus 17x squared. The other one is this one here, and they're both plus, so that's dead easy. 12x plus 10x equals 22x. So now we, all we need to do is put them in. So put our x squared term first, minus 17x squared. And then we've got plus 22x minus 15. And that is it multiplied out really easy. As usual, we've got a few examples for you to do next. Press pause, attempt the questions, then press play to get the solutions. If you didn't get the same answers, then have another look at the video.